This, have you heard of RK or Royal Kledge keyboards? Of course you have, you've watched my channel. I have used these in the past. Actually, this is one of my earlier mechanical keyboards uh, brands that I used probably two to three years ago. I had it for quite a while. I actually still have it it's in my closet behind me. Uh, this one here is a Royal Kledge keyboard. They sent over to me RK8, RKR87 Pro keyboard. They are, this is of course now a hot swappable keyboard. Hey, pause button is great. Hot swappable keyboard. So if you're not a fan of the switches that come with it, of course you can switch them, which is always a nice thing. These here are the upgraded cherry style uh, pillar there. Less likely to get dust, less likely to break down over time. Linear switch there. Feels nice. A little bit of a higher actuation force. Easier, a little bit uh, more resistance, which I like. I don't like super, super soft switches myself. Some people do, and I see why they might. Personally, I don't like it. I like slightly higher actuation force requirements. So we get um, you know, cable, if you want to plug it in. Key cap, key switch puller, very good. And the keyboard itself. Right. Let's get this cleaned up here and we'll look at the keyboard. Okay, we got the Royal Kludge background there, the backdrop for street cred. And we got the keyboard here. It's a light keyboard actually, not heavy at all. Um, I've been, I've reviewed some heavy keyboards recently and uh, they're kind of like heavy, heavy. This is not heavy by any means, but it feels nice actually. It doesn't have, it's nice and sturdy. Like that's a lot of force I'm putting on there. That would break some things. Very nice. Uh, yeah, looks good. Premium build to it. You get a nice wedge shape, shape naturally. Three stage feet, so one, three stages of height there, one, two, and three. Rubberized feet there, that's rubberized there. It's a nice looking keyboard. On the back there, it looks like this plate is probably used for multiple options. This one's USB-C. Very good. I like that. Very nice. A little bit of lighting there, a little knob for volume in that. That's looking good. I like this color actually quite a bit. It's got, let me get some lighting on it. It's got a nice creamy color. It's not white. It's not a dark cream. It's like a light creamy color to it. Very nice. And the gray is actually quite nice too. Two tones of gray on. It's just a nice kind of, I wouldn't call it muted, but it's not like ridiculously exaggerated. If you're looking for a nice kind of pastel, just something to kind of blend in, it looks nice. However, of course there are other color options, right? Like they actually have the ones with the key uh, you can see that the key's actually facing down towards the user. A little bit more of a clean, muted look. This one here has them on the top. I'm kind of impartial, I think, maybe towards this here, uh, having the letters on the top. It's just kind of more traditional, but I can certainly see why people like those, that style where it's just facing down at you. It just gives a nice clean look. You can see that there's the switch there. Nice kind of dark charcoal, but it's almost blue. It's got a very hint light hint of blue to it. The whole keyboard does actually. It's not just like a like a pure gray. There's a little bit of a blue to these darker ones, just to give it a little bit more pop. I'll pull off the delete key for the light gray. Nice printing on them too, right? It's a nice looking keycap. Printing just generally looks good. Uh, let's grab one with a five. Five's a good number. Amy switch there. Looks nice. Good printing on them. Very nice aesthetic to them. All right. Oh, it's really nice, actually. Yeah, it's really nice. I've used RK in the past. I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. Uh, I think it's still in my closet. It's just a really nice typing experience. This one's even better. This has a nice deep tone to it. 
really nice, really premium feeling keycap. They feel nice to type on. I like those key switches. Again, I'm not usually leaning towards linear switches, but I've realized that it's not that I don't like linear switches, it's that I don't like light linear switches where like you breathe on them and the key is down. This is a nice kind of firm uh, key switch there. However, it's very smooth. You can see it has those, you know, those upgraded switch design there. There's no wobble, like at all, like zero wobble on the keys, and it feels really nice to depress the keys. Spacebar is quite nice too. Really nice hefty spacebar there. And then we get our, you know, volume up, volume down. All right, you can see that there. Mute, volume up, volume down. Pretty straightforward, nice click on that too. Okay, just have my room light on now, but I don't have any like direct lighting on the keyboard, just so we can see the backlighting up down. It says page up pause, is it? What does that mean? Backlight brightness pause? Function page up? I don't know. Uh, side color switching. Turn on the light. So function insert. You see there's a light there. Red. Yeah, lots of different colors there. We'll go with the cyan. Well, that's the speed. Static. Different modes, I guess. This is one of those ones where you type and it comes up. That's just static. Oh, but it changes colors when you type. That's kind of cool. Uh, backlight speed. Switch to Windows systems. Armory on Windows systems, which is that there. Windows lock. If you hit function Windows, it will kill the lock. So like right now, that will like that. You hit function in that, and then it won't come up. So if you're playing games, that's actually an important thing to do because you won't accidentally hit that and kill off your thing. Press and hold for three seconds, function and that to ref go to factory remote, factory settings there. Very cool. Another thing you can do is you can set custom backlighting modes and you set them to, I think it's one, two, and three. Let me just double check that here. Yeah, function one, two, and three. So it'll have three different custom modes, one, two, and three. Once they're set up, you can switch through them there. So that's that there. So, uh, I mean, that's a, it's a straightforward one. What do I think about the uh, Royal Kludge? Uh, what do I think about the R, what do I think about the Royal Kludge RKR87 Pro? It's really nice, actually. I mean, it's a simplistic thing here, right? So, I mean, it's a nice keyboard. Plug it in and the keyboard works. The little switch thing here is nice. It's not super heavy by any means, but it feels nice and sturdy. Right? There's no deck flex or anything like that. And the, uh, the most important thing, obviously, is the typing experience, which is quite nice. This is, has a really nice typing experience. The sound is really nice, like truly really nice, especially the space bar. It's a nice space bar. The whole thing feels really, really nice. The keycaps themselves are really nice. So, I mean, it's all going to come down to pricing. The nice thing about RK stuff is they don't seem to be generally as expensive as, you know, some keyboards out there can get crazy expensive. These guys rarely are super expensive. I'd say they're pretty much, you know, one of the more affordable brands out there. That's the RK keyboard. I like it. Another RK keyboard that I've liked. I've used a few over the years and I've yet to find one that I didn't like. This is another one that I like quite a bit here. So definitely check this one out if you're looking for a nice deep kind of resonance when you're typing. Uh, you know, it just feels really, really nice to type on.